Hey guys, I realized that I did the exact same week twice. So if you just listened to the last podcast or looked at the last video, it's the week we just did. So let me do this real quick for Monday, February 20th week. We will continue with the shoulder press or strict press. Then we have got a uh, workout. And so if you noticed here, I've added um, scaled options. You should be seeing this all week. This way you can track your results. Um, if you're deciding to scale and you want to use a standard scale, then you can do this and you can actually see as time moves on. Okay, so besides talking about the workouts and what we're doing in them, it's the idea of <clears throat> the intent and what I'm trying to do, right? So you'll notice um, on some of the workouts, I've actually put in a time frame so you could be more specific. Obviously, this is 20 minutes. So no matter what you do in the workout, you're, you're going to be moving for 20 minutes. So you're in the um, oxidative state or the aerobic, basically you're breathing, and that is the big thing. So it's a thousand meter row, <clears throat> which obviously if you go out guns a-blazing, you're going to fall off quick. You want to make sure your legs are good enough that you can do the box jumps. And the devil's press, man, at 50 pounds, I can't even do that. So I, I can't do this workout as prescribed. So then what we've got is the same workout, but with the word scaled on it. So same 20 minutes. We drop the row down a little bit. We turn the box jumps into box steps, and we drop the devil's press weight down tremendously. So this way you can, you know, Pick the one that makes sense to you. Now, if you're like, hey, that weight stills, no, that's not good for me. That's okay. You can scale this too. So it was funny when I was writing these up, uh, Coach Jamie called me and said, hey, what you wrote right there doesn't make any sense. Can we change it? I'm like, yeah, sure. She's like, and, and I, I was trying to make it a little bit more nebulous so that it would be, uh, you know, kind of your pick and <clears throat> not thinking all the way through. And so good thing she called and she asked and she said, just let them scale the scale. I'm like, duh. Why did I think of that? So you can, it's if you're like me. I'm going to do step ups anyway, but 25 pounds still may be a bit tough on the devil's press. So I may not even do the 25 pounders. We'll see. We'll see how I feel when I get there. But the idea is <clears throat> if you want to have a option to scale a workout that then can be tracked and modified, this is it. So we'll do this for a while and see how it goes. The, the real trick then is everyone needs to really like track their stuff. A lot of people log in, but they don't track anything. And we need to kind of fix that one. Uh, the next day we got uh, back squat. So this is, um, uh, uh, let's see, what is it? One set of five and uh, to get up to about 65% of one rep max. So we're just getting into the back squat. And then in the uh, workout, oh, that's what it was. So we're practicing form and getting above the weight we want to use in the workout. So in the workout, minute one is five heavy back squats. We don't typically do these in a workout, so it's kind of fun to put them in there. Um, it's just a weird movement where you try to do it fast, and all of a sudden you're like, I can't go anymore, and you got to dump a bunch of weight. So at least putting it on the every minute on the minute allows you to do it with some intensity, but keeps you in the idea that hey, I don't have to dump this weight. I can just put rack it right back up. So we have double unders. This is going to be pretty important um, on the double unders. We should have some practice before this, obviously. But when you're doing this, you really want to figure out you and the coach, what is my problem? So you need to be asking, uh, what do I need to do? What do I need to fix? The reason is a couple days from now, from that workout, we'll have mute sport come in and they are the jump rope kings. We buy all our jump ropes and the ropes that we that are hanging on the wall or from the ceiling from them. And so um, they'll be here to fix us. So we'll do up downs and then <clears throat> there is a scaled one that you can do and it just basically changes the um, uh, the double unders, lets you put single unders and make it RX for yourself and it drops some of the numbers. But um, the main idea there is you're working on your singles and doubles. When you're done, uh, we definitely will be rolling. So you see that roll and be sure you put time in your calves because we're going to be doing more double unders and you're gonna ta calves are going to be crazy um, off the chart, most likely. Then we move into Wednesday. Um, echo bike, uh, we got this ascending power, uh, power clean and echo bike, and we have it with scaled as well. So basically, we're going to be doing the power clean. It's 95 pounds, which in the world of power clean is pretty light. Um, it should be doable. So if this isn't an easy weight to move, then look at the scaled version, right? So the scaled version drops it from 95 down to 45 and 35 for girls and um, drops some of the reps down. So the idea though is we're completing this workout in 10 minutes. So you'll notice right in this area, um, so it's, it's calories on the bikes or, or you can swap out if you need to row. But um, uh, then it says uh, scale to hit around 10 minutes. You wanna finish this workout in 10 minutes. So can I move the 95 pound bar and hit those numbers 10, 20, and 30 calories on the bike still in that ta uh, 10 minute time domain. That's your goal is to push for 10 minutes. Scale and modify as needed or use the scale that's built in to give you something that'll hit you right around the 10 minutes. I 
because I'm planning the scale out, this may be too scaled for some of you. So just add some weight to it, right? So, hey, I did the scale, but instead of 45, I did 55 or 65. That's okay, just make a note. And then you'll know for yourself next time, right? Um, or you can mark it in as I did it scaled on the other one. So you pick to hit the right amount. So it's the, the, um, the key in CrossFit is the uh, uh, intensity. In intensity is independent variable that sees more progress and moving the needle forward more than anything else. So we want to keep that intensity up, not have you struggle. Anyway, so at the end of that workout, it's a, like I said, about a 10-minute workout, uh, being very low, uh, uh, well warmed up. We will move into deadlifts. This is sort of the deload or just, I guess, uh, low volume, but add some weights on there. So the weight is more important. So you want to be in the higher, just getting comfortable with it because next week there will be a one rep max on the deadlift. Let's see. Then Thursday, <clears throat> Thursday Mute Sport will be here. So we're going to do a lot of double under practice. They're going to take about 30 minutes of the class to do that. And then we'll do Annie, which is a double under workout. And there's a scaled version of Annie, which basically is single under, so it's sit-ups and, uh, and jumping rope. Make sure you're rolling. If you don't roll out your calves, you're going to be crying for later on. So hopefully the uh, open workout will not have any jump rope in it uh, because, well, I don't know, maybe it'll be timely and everyone's legs will be good for it. But uh, And we'll know how, how to do it. But uh, I'm sure everyone's calves will be screaming a bit. Okay, so there is the correct programming. Sorry I messed that one up. Y'all be good.